All right, guys. So today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to set up OBS to stream on Twitch. And the first thing we're going to go do is we need to open up a certain window. So leave that open. And I think I closed all my windows. I did not. So the first thing you need to do is have a Twitch account or a Hotbox account or whatever the heck you're using. And you're going to need to go to twitch.tv log in, go to your username, your dashboard, and grab your Steam key, your stream key. It's right there. Always make that mistake. Damn you, Steam. Damn you, Gabe. So you click it, you show the key, you copy the entire thing. It's going to be pretty long, and you go into settings. So you're going to go into broadcast settings. Make sure Twitch is selected. Select your nearest location. Those are the servers and paste your key right there. Now it will ask you to optimize so just hit the optimization key it will be down here and that part is set up. Next we're going to go to encoding. Now your bitrate will depend on your upload speed. If you have a 300 megabyte, a 300 kilobyte per second upload speed you're not going to have an HD stream. Just remember that. So do a speed test, find out what's good for you and stream at it. 1000 is good enough for HD content. 2000 is good enough for 2K to 4K content. Okay? And if you want, you can also set it from 30 to 60 FPS. This allows you to scale down your resolution. Um, if you want to, you can do that. It helps with the streaming process. Now, the next thing, we're going to go to audio. You need to select your microphone. Okay, and that's it for this part. Now, then we get rid of all of this. All right. Next thing we're going to do is add a monitor that we want to capture or a window. For this case, we're going to pretend we're going to grab a monitor. Hit preview stream to see what you have. Just minimize that, exit that. So this is the window that you're going to be capturing. This is the window that everybody is going to be seeing. So think about it. Do you want your iTunes media player to show for your songs? You could stick that on another monitor if you want. Add Windows Capture. And we're going to select iTunes. But we're going to select a sub-region. Actually, I better bring that into view over here, okay? So, the sub-region, we just want to drag this up because we just want the top part of iTunes and hit OK. So there you go. Now it shows that you have, you know, your region selected. We're actually going to take a bit more and hit OK. See? Let's do one more time because I am really, really picky. I'm going to do it this way so you guys can properly see what I'm trying to grab here. So, select region. Okay, and that's good enough for me. That way people can see what you want. Now, if you want to move it somewhere else, that's how you do it. You hit edit scene and you drag and drop. Now, say you want Twitch alerts. This one's, this one's very, very important. So we're going to go here and we're going to go search Twitch alerts. Okay, you're going to click here first link and you're basically going to launch twitch alerts if it needs to be done and that will bring you to your dashboard now it will tell you to sign in and have everything going and these are the people that just have recently followed me 42 minutes ago joey 45 followed me nice guy and we're going to want to see these alerts, and people are going to want to see these alerts as they pop up. So we're going to hit this box here, and 
and just let me exit the original one you're gonna to want to hit launch it's gonna give you a funky green window that allows for animations this little guy so we're gonna minimize and we're gonna drag this over here so put this in the center of the window and add another windows capture select that sub region select and we need to get rid of the white part sorry I messed that one up like that hit enter hit OK so there we can minimize that now and we can have this right here but who wants a big ugly green spot use the chroma key select the green part set this to 35 and this to 45 that will get rid of the green parts around there okay ah, god damn it now go back to that dashboard that you had here and just hit this button Ah, it's not showing because of iTunes. Where did it go? Refresh. It's because I minimized it. It's not letting me do it anymore. Okay. It's not working out the way it was supposed to because iTunes some reason took over. So we're going to get rid of the original iTunes window real quick because I don't want you around iTunes. You're annoying. Twitch alert. Select region. Bring that down. Hit enter. And chroma key. Select. 45, 35, hit OK. And you're going to put that right there. And we're going to chuck this on another window. There you go, guys. And that will pop up every time someone subscribes, donates, hosts you, which are very good, and following. So that's the basics, and I hope that pretty much covers everything that you want to know. Um, if you have anything else to ask, ask in the comments below, and I'll try to cover it. I'm going to center this because I totally want to keep this window, and I'm going to do it again. Watch. I followed myself. So. Um, in another video, I'm going to cover over customizing this, replacing this little dude if we want to, and stuff like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.